Bob and Jane, a married couple, walk into a psych's office. Bob has autism. Dr. Freud, my husband, he never says anything nice to me when we make love. That's simple, says Dr. Freud. Bob, say something nice to your wife when you make love. A week goes by. How did it go? Not good, says Jane. Bob, after we made love, he told me I was a great cook like his mother. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, my PhD is investigating sexuality and autism in adolescents. In particular, their sexual knowledge and behaviours. So appropriate programs will be developed. Imagine having autism. You can play Mozart on the piano. You can solve math problems no one else can. But the simple fact of making a friend, let alone knowing how to hug a friend, when to hug, who, how much, is in the words of the young people we see, impossible. Individuals with autism do experience sexual desire, and many wish to have intimate relationships. The problem is they just don't know how. Sexual knowledge is not is, sexual knowledge is not something that can be missed. It's necessary. Adolescents with autism need to be taught sexual knowledge. They don't learn it by osmosis. Needs to be taught in every detail over and over again like a broken record. Currently, there are no programs to assist them as there's limited research in this area, and much of this research looks at sexuality and autism as a problem. My research will investigate 100 teenagers on the spectrum and 100 typically developing adolescents. I will compare their sexual knowledge to their behaviours, social skills, communication and cognitive abilities. This will allow me to understand where their deficits are and develop appropriate sexuality programs. This is going to change so many lives. So, how did it go with Bob and Jane? (laughs) Bob received some intensive counselling and Jane caught up with Dr Freud a few months later. Doc, you know, we joke around how I'm a great cook in bed, but my husband has learnt with his compliments to be the master chef. (laughs) 